Yeah, we got snow. Second week of the open, woke up, it's March, there's a lot of snow. So, this now makes what was going to be a very easy drive, a very exciting drive. And no, 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 we don't have like real snow, like out west snow right now. But one inch of snow on Long Island in March at rush hour, that's gonna make for a great, great morning. So let me uh, let me catch up. So 19.1 shot three different places. Uh, I also was able to shoot uh, Jared Stevens and Christine Cole, who are two people on their games team of Cross 417, the fourth place team in the world. Um, when they were down here at CrossFit 516. Uh, but yeah, I just didn't include any of that in the video. I also promised to include things like uh, editing tips and workflow instruction and clever ways I do things. And all of that was gonna be done in a wrap-up video that I was gonna then superimpose over everything else. And yeah, it didn't happen. I didn't get there. I got busy with other stuff. Um, so instead of just putting it off like any other project and saying, well, I'm just going to skip it and not do it, I put out the minimal viable product yesterday. And at least I have a video of some of the stuff going on and actually use some of the footage. Um, yeah, so that kind of also helps keep me accountable. And now I'm going to do this one. Okay. You excited? I am yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Whoa. 25 straight left. Yeah. What's up, Mr. Clay? The vlog is back. It's back? We're back, season two. Nice. Is this my vlog or your vlog? I think it's gonna be mine. Nice. Cool. I How you doing? for yours. Mine. Nice. Yeah. I'm good, man. We just did a 19.2. Got one rep at 185. It's about triple body weight. Yeah, triple yeah, body weight clean. You don't see yeah, that come up in the nice open yeah. too often. So yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Cool, man. Yeah. How's uh, life across the flushing? Our life is great. We got a new paint job since uh, you might have been here last. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Looking clean, looking good. Feeling cool. good. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, exercise. Have I been doing it? Yeah. Infrequently. Good. In a typical gym owner. Cool. No. Right. Okay, back it out. Back it out. Okay, so shoot number one today. Went well, only challenge. Almost took two hours to get there. So that was not cool. That's a 35 minute drive. So, little snow today, kind of threw off the whole mojo in the morning. Didn't shoot that much while I was at the gym because 19.2, fast one. For most people, it's an eight minute workout. Got a lot of exciting things happening. Didn't want to fluff around too much. Now, we are off to Strong Island CrossFit, CrossFit Strong Island. I always forget what they call themselves. Uh, and we're gonna do it all again. They're having a great little Friday Night Lights thing going on tonight. It's always a good time. I'm gonna check out over there. And most excitingly, Amazon came through and my little GoPro uh, attachment thingy for my hot shoe is back. I used to have one, I don't know where it went. It was easier just to order a $1 part and uh, replace it. So. We'll be able to get some point of view shooting shots tonight. Um, so I'll make sure to mash those into the vlog. Uh, yeah, uh, next shot, we're at Merrick. All right, I'm here and I actually didn't get crushed by an insane amount of traffic. So we're right on time. We're doing headshots. So I got a whole bunch of wires and stands and lights and then we're gonna do photo mode. Cool. Taking headshots. It's going great. Oh, oh, oh. It's intense. Oh, there you go. Steady camera action. Cool. Rough. Yeah. Cool. How's it going? It's going good. Cool. It's gonna go a lot worse than uh, about an hour. In an hour, yeah. So, so are you planning on 20 minutes, or do you plan to get it done under 20 minutes? 20 minutes, including my recovery from the eight minutes. Smart. Smart. Very smart. Cool. Well, that's just gonna be, it's just gonna be great. It's gonna be really. We are crushing it right now. 
We're doing some headshots. We're going 85-1.8, the classic portrait lens. I'm using the Pulsey Buff, using a uh, CyberSync transmitter to then trigger the... Well, that's actually triggering the lights. This Cyber Commander doesn't fire consistently and doesn't sit on my hot shoe anymore. So I use this guy to just set the light power. And then I use this guy to actually trigger the lights. Chris Nolan, little trick he taught me. Uh, what are we doing here? We got a 200th of a second, F4, ISO 100. Super exciting stuff. And yeah, just going one light. Super simple for nice little uh, website headshots. Can't beat it. Nice quick little service we're doing before the shoot. Cool. All right, wrapping up. We took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of exercise, it's a bunch of dessert. Now I gotta get all that in the car and then do this again in the morning. I think there'll be a burrito between now and then though. It snowed a lot. And my car's making a strange rattling noise. This should suck. I'm gonna see what happens here. All right, a lot of snow, but we made it. It's now snowed every single day this week, and it's made for quite a drive. We are shooting at CrossFit Ridge and Tunnel today. It's in Ridgewood, New Jersey. No, that's a lie. It's in Ridgewood, New York, which is in Queens. Uh, we're taking pictures, making movies. Ah, cool, okay. So, most dependable. Mm, where is it? 24 to 70, Tamron, it's the best. And then, big one. 70 to 200. So this gym is really big, 
so you can actually use a long lens without getting caught up in stuff. I'll show you what some of that looks like. 24 to 70, this Tamron is just cheating. It's super sharp, focuses super fast. You just can't beat it. I used to always have to use a prime. This one winds up doing the job just fine. Um, yeah, I'll show you some examples of 24 to 70 here. And then a couple shots from the 70 to 200. Cool. Cal Harbor again. We got Rob over here. We've been working with Rob for a while now. We're gonna work out. It's gonna be great. You're gonna work out? Oh yeah. What are your back squats? I'm not doing it again. Oh, you're not even doing it again? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you coward. I'm just here to work out regularly. Oh, you regular workout. <laughs> coward. Coward. All right. I thought I was actually getting a workout partner. Turns out I'm not. That didn't go well. Episode two of this vlog, 19.2. I've had a pretty crazy week. I was on like complete death door Monday, Tuesday, super sick, but uh, thankfully bounced back. Uh, my lungs particularly did a bounce back though. <laughs> <coughs> So, 19.2 weekend. I have just wrapped the third edit that I had to do, so I went through something like, I don't know. Let's see, let's add it up. Uh, math time. 2300, 1000, 1800. So that's like 50 million photos. Went through that today, edited them down. Right now I'm exporting the finals, and uh, I'm gonna send them off to three happy gyms. A couple things. Episode one, again, like I said, all of the things I said it was gonna have, it didn't have. There was a video there, there was some exercising, there was some photography, there was nothing instructional at all. Uh, episode two, I'm gonna try to do better about actually conveying some value here. So, uh, first things we talked about was what am I actually shooting with? I showed you a little bit of bridge and tunnel, I also showed you a little bit on the uh, headshot shoot over at Strong Island. Uh, my main workhorse now is Nikon D5, greatest camera ever. There is no better sports camera on the market. Anyone that says a Canon camera is better is wrong. 
Anyone that says a Sony camera is better, also wrong. Nikon D5, the single greatest low light sports camera on earth. Convince me otherwise. Lens selection. So I, cool. So this is the old Tamron 24 to 70. This was my workhorse for years, but I probably took 500,000 photos on it. It started getting a little rusty, getting a little soft. Then this guy, this the old Sigma Art Series 3514. This is one of the greatest indoor low light lenses you could possibly imagine. Especially for CrossFit, this lens is perfect. But it's, it's a prime, so that obviously has its own drawbacks there. Uh, now, now, I don't know, maybe last year, I bought this guy, the Tamron 24-70-2.8, but the new version. It is literally like cheating. It delivers the sharpness of this prime lens, but pretty sweet zoom action, and also the vibration control is just ridiculous. So that 24 to 70, uh, it's not for being lazy. It sits on my camera because I'm able to just deliver so many different looks. Like I'll show you here, 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 here. Okay, fantastic lens. Other lens that I've been I always go back to is my Nikon 70 to 200. That lens is just phenomenal. It creates just interesting images and what it does to backgrounds is just beautiful. I'll show you a couple pictures like here, over here, over here, over here, maybe down there, maybe up there. Great lens. What's up, Thomas? You wanna be in the movie? Look, I'll show you. You wanna see where your head is? Hey, look, you're right there. Talk to the camera. You have some big what? Big news. What's your big news? Okay, good, good talk. All right, why don't you go back to your office? Why don't you go back to your office? Good job. Great talk there, great talk. All right, so <clears throat> lens selection, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, gives you a ton of options, but if I only was able to, if I had less than $1,000, I would just buy a Sigma 3514. It's the greatest indoor lens especially if you're on a budget. Um, then let's talk trick shots, okay? I keep getting asked about these, so I wanna talk about it. Um, <clears throat> what a lot of people are thinking that I'm doing like a slow sync flash thing, which I don't even know what that is, but so here's a couple examples. Okay, they're on screen now. What I'm doing is just a multiple exposure, okay? So in camera, multiple exposure, nothing fancy. But oh my God, stop touching things. Um, but yeah, okay, episode might be ending soon. Um, so, uh, I got all sorts of footage to show you. We're doing a little montage right now. Uh, Thomas is home and Thomas is with me. Uh, so there's only so much I can continue babbling about. Uh, if you have specific questions, please check them out. Oh yeah, Wait, Thomas, we also gotta talk about something. So let's talk about my workout performance. It wasn't that great, all right? Yeah, I have a bunch of other shoes. That's where the workout sort of went downhill. But it's a good one. Hoping for something fun this week. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. 19.2 in the books. Yeah.